Bold new projects and cutting-edge technology have been unveiled at the country's largest space industry event. As science and technology correspondent Brent O'Halloran reports, the 16th Space Forum put the moon to the fore. Whether it's satellites, robots or astronaut underwear, Aussie engineers have you covered. And the 16th Space Forum in Sydney showcased some of the brightest ideas and minds in an industry moving at rocket speed. This is my dream. I've been working trying to build the space sector with a couple of passionate people for the last 20 years. And for us to get this to this level is just amazing. The level of international collaboration is increasing too. The UK Space Agency has signed deals with at least eight Australian companies. More can tap into its £20 million fund for space-related projects. So we've got this great opportunity to build on some of the earlier work that we did together as nations to really take things forward. While the Japanese agency is offering Australian scientists a chance to send their research into space, their Kibo module on the International Space Station is one of the only microgravity laboratories. We um, actually share the opportunities to the Asian Pacific region, so it would be really great opportunity for Australian companies. Our moon is on the mind of so many here. Australians are making novel tech to be taken to the lunar surface via NASA's Artemis missions. It's ridiculously light, very robust and can handle the extremes in temperature of places like the moon. As two teams work on Ruva, the first Australian made rover destined for the moon before the end of the decade. The Australian government has prioritised advancing uh, our robotics capabilities and this is one of the most ambitious robotics projects in the nation right now. Beyond the noble goal of going where no one has gone before, exploring the cosmos and increasing our understanding of this planet, there's also a lot of money to be made in space. The global space economy is worth $550 billion and it's forecast to increase by 40% within the next five years. It's hoped events like this help increase Australia's take, encourage more kids to explore the sciences and generally give the space sector a boost. We still need to get the message out to the general public. I don't think they really understand how important space is to everyday life. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.